So in this problem, we're given a series and we're asked to find uh, its interval of convergence and then estimate a handful of points um, using the first few terms of the series and to you know, and judge whether or, not, um, the ser whether or not these estimates are close to the actual values and how we can know whether they're close or not um, to the actual value. So to find the radius, uh, we'll just use the race ratio test. Um, so look at the limit as K approaches infinity of um, K plus one terms, so uh, negative one to the K plus one times X to the K over K plus one cubed plus two. We'll take the absolute value of that. And uh, we'll multiply by the reciprocal of the Kth term, so same as dividing by the Kth term. Well, the absolute value of of the kth term, that is. And we end up with k cubed plus 2 over x to the k. All right, and if we simplify this, uh, oh, I guess I forgot a minus 1 to the k in the denominator. All right, so if we simplify this, we get minus 1 to the k plus 1 over minus 1 to the k, absolute value, times the absolute value of, should be k plus 1, um, times the absolute value of x to the k plus 1 over x to the k, and finally times the absolute value of k cubed plus 2 over k plus 1 cubed plus 2. All right, well, this is just going to be uh, minus 1, uh, our absolute value of minus 1, so that's just positive 1. And second term, or second part of the product is, well, this is just going to be absolute value of x, uh, since x to the k cancels out of both terms, or both the numerator and denominator. And to do a little bit more work with this last part, um, I'm actually going to, let's see, it would be a lot easier if we could write this as uh, k cubed plus 2 over k plus 1 cubed, uh, just like that, and kind of ignore that too. Of course, it destroys the inequality here. But really what we're doing is we're, Replacing something, replacing the denominator by something smaller, you know, k plus 1 cubed uh, instead of k plus 1 cubed plus 2. So if we replace with a smaller denominator, we're you know, getting a larger function. Uh, so we can replace the inequal or we can replace, replace the equality with less than or equal to. And this means that um, this new quantity um, will be equal to. Well, let's write this as k over k plus 1 uh, quantity cubed plus 2 over k plus 1 cubed. So we still have the absolute value of x, and right here, if we divide the numerator and denominator, or each term of the numerator and denominator by k, we end up with limit as k goes to infinity of 1 over 1 plus k cubed. Well, 1 over k goes to 0, and we're just left with um, 1. And second term, we get uh, limit as k goes to infinity. This bot the denominator is just going to get bigger and bigger, and the whole thing is going to go to 0. So this whole thing is just equal to absolute value of x. Now, in we're interested um, to find when this uh, is less than 1. Well, of course, this is going to be less than 1 when x is between negative 1 and positive 1. So the radius of convergence um, 
is going to be uh, 2. So radius, or excuse me, radius is going to be 1. And the interval is going to be negative 1 to 1. And that's, that's the interval that we know for sure. But we're not really sure what's going to happen at the endpoints. You know, it may or may not converge. So we also have you know, all these possibilities, negative 1 to 1, including the endpoints. Um, we could have just the left-hand endpoint. Or we could have um, just the right-hand endpoint. So those are the possible intervals of convergence. All right, so now we want to use the first three terms um, to estimate p of, so yeah, so these are the numbers that we want. We're going to estimate at point, uh, 0, 1, 0 0.1, 0 0.01, and at 1. Right, so now in the next part, we're going to use the first three terms of uh, the series to approximate the function and you know, estimate, come up with a couple esti few estimates for the points. Um, for, for evaluating the series at, say, p of 0 0.1, p of 0 0.01, and p of 1. So, in other words, we're going to assume that p of x is approximately equal to the first three terms of its series. So, k is equal to 0, then we get, um, well, this is 1, uh, x to the 0 is 1, and in the denominator we have 0 plus 2, so we end up with 1 half. Now, if k is equal to 1, we end up with a minus sign. Um, we end up with x over 1 cubed plus 2, or 3. And if k is equal to 2, we get a positive sign, uh, negative 1, oh, positive sign, then x squared over uh, 10, which is 2 cubed plus 2. So I can use this to evaluate. Uh, p of 0 0.1, uh, or to approximate, I should say. This is approximately 0 0.468, if you plug that into your calculator. And p of 0 0.01 is approximately 0 0.497. And p of 1 is approximately at 0 0.267. So, know the interval of convergence is you know, negative 1 to 1, possibly including negative 1 and positive 1, but we're not really sure. So, we can definitely say that these two, the first two, uh, will be close. So, we can expect. P of 0 0.1 and P of um, 0.01 would be close, but we're not really, we can't really be sure about P of 1. We would have to um, plug in x equals 1 here and then look at that series and determine whether that uh, specific series with um, x equals 1 um, converged or, or diverged. Now, it's also, we can't really tell um, precisely how far away any of these are because, well, this is how we define p of x. We didn't, uh, for you know, problems that we had before, we had, you know, we were given a function sine of x, cosine of x, e to the x, something that we knew well that we could, you know, plug in our calculator. But here, this is kind of all we have, and the only way we have, only way we know how to estimate this is just by taking more and more series. And we know that for within that interval, in, if we go out far enough, we'll get close. You know, we can get as close as we want by taking you know, as many terms as, as we need to. But we'll never be sure exactly what that, what that value is.